evening everybody and a warm welcome to everyone watching around the world to the FBC Champions League final. Over the past five weeks, FBC has been filling the void of European football on a Wednesday night with an all-new elite Minecraft football club competition. After 28 games, we come to the final where two big rivals meet once again. However, before we begin tonight, we'd like to invite you to donate to the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. The link to donate will be in the description, where you can help millions worldwide in these difficult times. We appreciate your support. Well, tonight, I'm not going to be doing this myself. We've got some special guests from both teams, and we'll also have commentary from Elliot West. Now, it's very important that we know who is on both teams. Here's our pitch side reporter on the line from inside the Johan Cruyff Arena now. Thank you, Francois. Well, tonight both teams bring strong sets of players. We'll start with Orangutan FC, Pablo, Waro, Tenma and Adriel. They have been the main four men for them during this campaign, with Waro and Tenma forming a strong pairing in attack. The squad is very deep as well, with backup options such as Sten, Luke, Zen, Manu, Voidfist and Jajo. <laughs> As for Golden Nemesis FC, they've not had a main four like their opponents tonight. The trick is surrounded by Heart Gold, Soft, Limo, Emerge, Westy, and Timo. Manager Eli has had a wide range of choice tonight. Well, thank you for that. We'll have the final lineups confirmed a bit later when we get pitch side. But I'd like to welcome two players from both sides who could be lifting the trophy tonight. Welcome Tenma, welcome Trick. What's it been like for both you reaching the final? I think that the group we had is a very was a very achievable group uh, that we could have gone through. We had GNFC, who are known for being one of the teams that will uh, upset you, that will score a lot of goals over you, or that will time waste and guarantee a victory. There's nothing wrong with that, but we knew what we had to be, and then we had SK, very supported by the appearance of Rays and Icos, uh, second goalkeeping, and they were doing bits. We actually never beat them until we played our main lineup, which is, is quite surprising if you ask me. Then we had the match against FCO in a week that was a very busy week for me uh, and Warao and the rest of the team, because not only we had FBC matches, we also had FC matches and school. <laughs> school. <laughs> so our agenda was pretty filled. So it, it feels amazing that we overcame all of that. And as a team, we got to the finals. And tomorrow we, we expect to give our best. It's been good. Uh, it's been a tough competition, but I've really enjoyed it. I think we... The team's performed to expectations, um, and you know, hopefully we can go and win it. Uh, obviously, very strong team, but they do have some weaknesses, you know. For example, you know, you look at Pablo, he's got a very small <laughs> I think, you know, we can take advantage of that. I might just go ask MHG to pull his pants down mid-game, you know. We never know what happens, hopefully we can win it. Trick, you've been involved in a battle for so many trophies in your career. Is there any added pressure on you tonight to secure such an iconic trophy? I've been in a lot of uh, trophy battles, I've won a lot and I've lost a lot, you know, but I think it actually has the opposite effect, you know, because I'm used to the pressure, so, uh, you know, I'm not as nervous as some players, you know, you look at players like Joker and they just can't score 1v1s in big games, like, you know, I look at Joker and I actually just feel bad for him, he's just so sh like sometimes I just watch it, watch him in GM3 and I just laugh. Tenma, you've been described by commentators this season as being in a dynamic duo with Rereo. How important is that for you to be in such a great partnership with him? 
Yeah, honestly, um, being described as a dynamic duo with War Owl um, by many people is quite of a compliment for me. And it is amazing that War Owl likes to play with me as his center mid. We often rotate. We have pretty much the same amount of goals in the main league. Not in the Champions League because he, he scored a lot more goals than me, at least. Oh, what did you just say, Tema? You little f Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, and I will let you get back to prepare yourselves for this final. The FBC Champions League final, coming up next! Welcome back, everyone! Now the teams are ready, the lineups are made, the anthem is about to play. It's now time to go to the commentary box with Elliot West. Thank you, Francois. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Champions League final here in Amsterdam. The Johan Cruyff Arena hosts the very first of its kind on FBC. It's the biggest final of the season, the most iconic trophy in global football, the Champions League. The trophy with the big ears. And with this competition, we started out in Osvata five weeks ago in April with a 4 4 draw between FC Osvata and the Indonesian Farmers Union. It was a very big night that then, but will we get the same fireworks tonight? Now, both teams come into it very equal. They've both beaten each other on both different occasions so far this season. They've met each other four times previously in the group stage in this competition. It'll be very interesting to see what happens tonight. Of course, as mentioned in both Francois in the studio, you can donate tonight to the World Health Organization Response Fund for COVID-19. The link is in the description and all donations go towards supporting countries across the world with preventing, detecting and responding to the current pandemic. Well, none of the previous four games between OFC and a GNFC will top this game tonight. It's been so exciting, the build-up. Both players who gave introduced Temma and Trick are very, very excited. And they shared their excitement with Francois earlier in the studio. And as both teams walk out the tunnel, it's time for the anthem. You may recognize it from Andrea Borcelli in the 2016 Milan final. Here's the lineups then, ladies and gentlemen, for Orangutan FC. Adril starts in goal. Pablo is the centre back tonight, looking to win his first trophy since the FBC Nations League in December with Hispania. Tenma and Wara lead the line in attack as equal centre midfielders. And on the bench, Sten, Yayo Marston, Zen, Bram, Manu, and Voidfist for OFC on the bench. For Golden Nemesis FC, they've got Emerg in goal, the main goalkeeper for them this tournament, but Timo backs them up. 
Mr. Hartgold at centre-back, where he's been very useful all season. A very, very solid season for him. Limo at centre midfield, with Trick supporting him up top as the striker. On the bench tonight, Westy, Eli, Sof and Timo as their backups. It might be very interesting to see if they can use them. Well, it's one of the biggest games of the year. The FBC Champions League final is about to get underway. And what a night we've got in store. Well, everybody, welcome. OFC on the right of your screen. GNFC on the left of your screen. The chat's on. Planes is ready. And the final of the FBC Champions League's underway here at the Amsterdam Arena in and if what a start. OFC take the ball straight away. Temba. It's back to Pablo. These teams have been practicing all day long. They've been waiting for this moment for weeks. Pablo. Lovely ball forward to Temba. And we might have an opening start here for the final. Temba launched in. Emma makes a brilliant save. At his near post. It was a great start there. Wero. Back to Pablo. Pablo. Launched in. Temma, cleared away by Trick. Very, very exciting stuff here. Owen really, really wanting to rile up the OFC players tonight. He's in the chat. Trick. Teasing with the ball. You may notice GNFC's kit is a bit different tonight. They're wearing a special limited edition kit for the final, designed by Elagil, the manager. OFC in their normal orangutan kits. Trick. Driving run here. And MHG, he tries one. And Adriel makes a brilliant save at the near post to deny him. Good opening minute here by the, between these two teams. But it's going to be interesting. Pablo. Still going. driving, Looking to drive forward past MHG. He's not gone for a centre-back role tonight. He's playing a bit more attacking. I think this is what we're going to need, what, what uh, GNSC need. Wero now in the box. Driving run. Limo puts a stop to that by putting a leg out. But Wero gets it back again and tries the shot. And Emma has to clear it away and punch it out. Pablo. Launched in. Wero. Oh, it was close. Temma nearly got on the end of it. And Temma very close again. Pablo. Pablo, having a bit of a dance. Cruyff turns at the stadium named after the legend himself, Young Cruyff. And where are we? Hits the bar. Where are we? Very close there. Temma, still driving forward. Limo picks it up. He looks to knock it through past Temma. Halfway through the first half. And... Uh, Hopefully we should have some fireworks in a second. It's not close, but uh, very, uh, very interesting. Trick. Looking for a ball in. We're out covering well. The two best in the sport. Clashing heads tonight. Trick, of course, during the anthem was... Right up in OFC's face. It was like a boxing boxing, and MHG with a nearly, nearly, nearly got the header off. And Limo now, he's going to try across. Limo launched in. MHG can't get it back to Limo. It was close. Temma takes it away. But yeah, Trick was getting right up in the face of Wero and the OFC friend, OFC lot. Limo, MHG cleared away by Pablo. It was like a boxing weigh in. It was incredible. Pablo. Adriel, Temma, launched into the centre, MHG, out to Limo, 75 seconds to go, Limo, launched in, MHG, great save, Adriel, again, he's had a good night, he's had a good night, Adriel, tonight so far in his first half, one minute to go in the first half, nil-nil still the score, trick, Temmer on the ball, and he's not opted for that. T Limo's taken it straight away off him. 
Levo, ball forward to MHG. MHG, still driving forward. Pablo, who had a bit of dance in the box and it was very close there. Pablo nearly sold it to, uh, to the GNFC attack. It is an MHG and Limo attack. Tricks taking a very conservative role at the back. Where out? Launched in. Temba. Oh, it was close. Trick had to clear it off the line. Emerg wasn't getting anywhere near that. And yes, tonight you can see Rattles uh, planes his hand on the screen. He's our, been our main recorder this season, so thank you to Planes. As well as Sof, we're thanking you too. But I think this might be the end of the first half here. It is. It's nil-nil. Nil-nil. What a first half we've had here. It's been very close here. Are they Johan Cruyff Arena? Let's see what happens in the second half. Well, welcome back everyone for the second half. Nil-nil. It's been a very, very tight first half. Adriel making some saves. Emmerg making some saves. But the crowd are going to want penalties. It's going to be a very tight match. Limo now. Tried to skip past Pablo with a little bit of skill. A little bit of sauce from the crowd. Limo lobbed in and Pablo clears away. It was close. Certainly very close. Where out? On the ball. Forward for Temmer here. And misses the ball there. Where is he? Where's he at? We haven't got the scoreboard for the second half. Hopefully we should have. Upcoming. Rattle uh, gets on it. But Temma launched away into MHG. He's having a little dance around the box. He missed the ball there slightly. And he sent Temma to the shops. And now Limo knocked into Werau. And uh, it was a very close there. Werau nearly got a ball off. Pablo. Temmer to his forward. Temmer. Looking to find where are in the box. It's all the way back to Pablo. Launched back. And MHG deals with it effectively. And now Limo can make a counter. He's opted to go for the return ball. Emmerg. Back to the keeper. In his frog skin tonight. Trick. On the ball on the far side. Ball in. Limo back to MHG. He was so close again. And MHG nearly got there in there. And where are... And now Temmer's on a run. Temmer's going to be on a run. And he's opted for the left side. And uh, it's close. And Limo surely will... And Temmer as Limo makes a clearance. He's recovered it brilliantly. But Temmer, what was he doing? He went to the left-hand side. He could have gone straight forward. And had a one-on-one -on -one with Emmerg. And now, Limo's got a chance and got a shot at having a go. Limo, driving through. Still driving here. MHG, tries the shot. Adriel makes the save. It's off the line. Lovely from Adriel. Trek, launched in. Where out? Temma, on the ball now. Temma, still going. And oh, it was just over Weirau's head. It was close. It was very close from, from Weirau. He might rue that missed chance. Not long left to go. Trick. Remember, if it's still goalless at the end of the 10 minutes of normal time, we will go to extra time. And then, if it's still goalless, it will be penalties. And I'm sure the crowd would love that, but none of these players will. Trick. Launched in. Limo cleared away off the line by Pablo. Very good stop from him. Temma driving forward now. Ball forward. Where I'll try the chip shot. And uh, worth a try. You don't know what's going to happen. Try and catch Temma off. Uh, Emberg off guard, sorry. Temma. Into trick. This is eight of the best of the whole competition. Fighting it out. Into Limo. Limo into MHG, it was close. And, oh, Limo, he's going to be in here. Limo, oh, it's a goal. Limo's done it. 1-0, GNFC. And that, you'll never see anything like it again. Incredible stuff from Limo.
He took it off Pablo, and it's in. And now Limo, he might have sold it here, but Pablo, G, G, OSC looking to get a ball back. Temer tries one, Trek clears it. Where out? Ball back in. He knows how precious time's going to be now. OFC. The crowd are very excited here. They don't know what's going to happen, but this finish might be exciting. MHG cleared out to Pablo. Pablo still going. Pablo launched in. Where out? Can't get on the end of it properly. It's angled off. And Temma launches it off the wall. It's a poor launch. And where I was going to take it, surely. Trick. Launched forward. MHG. That's surely it. The Champions League surely going to GNFC here. MHG. MHG. He can't fit it around the keeper. MHG. Oh, brilliant save. Adriel keeping them in it. But I don't think it's going to be enough. It's over, surely. Where out? It's over, GNFC win the Champions League. It's incredible. What a night in the history of this club. These players, they'll never forget nights like these. And here we have it then. GNFC, the Champions League winners of May 2020. What a night we've witnessed and what a night. What a match. And uh, this will probably go on long into the players' careers. As they lift the Champions League, the first ever one in FBC's history. What a night. The FBC Champions League final brought to you by West TV and supporting the World Health Organization COVID-19 Response Fund. Yeah!